Have you ever wondered how or why crocodilians have survived so many mass extinctions, the same of which single-handedly took out the dinosaurs and others which have frozen Earth over? Well, that's what I'll answer today. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host here to answer nature's burning questions. This burning question today being how did crocodiles survive extinction? But before we get started, don't forget to slam that like and subscribe button. Done? All right, let's get into the video. Crocodiles are ancient creatures with their earliest ancestors first appearing approximately 200 million years ago during the late Triassic and early Jurassic period. Now, they were a bit different from the crocs we know today, being a lot smaller with shorter snout and slightly different in skeleton structure. Yet, all in all, their 200 million years of evolution, they still remain practically the same. And I mean, let's think about it. If it ain't broke, why fix it? Sure, they might have had a few different varying tries at something else. For example, you have the Caprosuchus, known as the boar crocodile. You've got the giant Dinosuchus and all that stuff. But all in all, their most favorable adaptions were when they remained like the crocodilians we know them as today. Their ability to survive in diverse environments and their physical effectiveness have enabled them to endure the mass extinctions and withstand the challenges posed by not only one, but two ice ages. But before I get into that, I'll go through some of the crocodilian specific adaptions and behaviors that assisted them in thriving in their many environments. The first of which being their semi-aquatic lifestyle. Crocodilians are well adapted to both aquatic and terrestrial environments. This semi-aquatic lifestyle allows them to inhabit a variety of habitats. This can include from freshwater rivers to lakes to brackish and saltwater coastal areas. The ability to move between these habitats provides a level of ecological flexibility that contributes to their survival. Now, it should be no surprise to anybody that they are efficient of being predators. Crocodiles are apex predators in many of their ecosystems, with their powerful jaws, sharp teeth, and strong bodies making them highly effective hunters. Their diet is diverse, including fish, birds, reptiles, and even insects. Their flexible diets allow them to exploit different food sources as the conditions change. Not only this, but they're capable of scavenging off old and rotten carcasses meaning that they weren't only reliant on hunting, but they could effectively scavenge. They also had temperature regulation. Since crocodiles are ectothermic, meaning that they rely externally on sources of heat to regulate their body temperature, the adaption allows them to be well suited to a wide range of environmental conditions, from tropical to temperate climates. They can adjust their metabolism and activity levels to conserve energy during times of scarcity. Hardiness. The thing with crocodiles is that they aren't required to consume food as often as mammals and well the dinosaurs. With their ability to conserve energy, they are able to go without food for a few months to even up to three years. Additionally, they have long lifespans, often being between 70 to 100 years of age. And if we take modern crocodilians as a basis, despite living in dirty and polluted waters, crocodilians rarely develop infections even though they often get wounded while hunting and fighting for territory. This suggests that crocodiles have a potent immune system. This means that they could survive in varying environments with varied levels of infections and thrive. Now, considering the crocodilian build hasn't changed much from its ancient ancestors, I'm willing to bet the same thing. Now, I'll kick it off with the central extinction everyone knows, the KT mass extinction, which wiped out the dinosaurs. I know you'd question, well, how did crocodiles manage to survive through an extinction that the dinosaurs were unable to. An extinction which clouded the world and set forth an immense change to the climate. This is where crocodilians' temperature regulation and hardiness comes into play. Being capable of surviving months and even years without food meant that unlike the dinosaurs, they could remain in a semi-dormant state. Over time, they conserved their energy until they came across prey or carcasses in which the process would then repeat in staying semi-dormant. As their temperature was regulated, they were able to adjust their metabolism, which again assisted in when there was a scarcity of food. And hence, through their adaptions in particular, their temperature regulation and hardiness allowed them to survive through the very extinction which wiped out the dinosaurs. All right, I know what you'd be questioning then now. All right, the crocodilians were able to survive the extinction that wiped out the dinosaurs, but if they're cold-blooded, how could they manage to survive through the Ice Age, let alone two? Well, my dear viewer, a lot of people actually get the Ice Age wrong. The entire world wasn't just laid in ice and snow. Sure, certain regions, particularly up north and south, were covered in snow and were fairly cold, but the planet itself was only just a bit colder. And you have to understand that it may have even helped crocodilians. 
as deserts became grassland and, well, there were still warm tropics to exist. This is where crocodilians would have survived, remaining in the warmer environments of the planet in order to be successful. Now, even if the planet was considerably colder, people underestimate crocodilians' ability to withstand cold environments. For example, during winters in Georgia and South Carolina, alligators can be spotted in ponds where they position their nostrils above frozen surfaces. Similar to numerous other ectothermic creatures in temperate regions, these alligators have evolved to produce a sugar or glycol, which functions as a type of antifreeze in their bloodstream. This adaption allows them to endure cold environments for brief periods. So even if we used a hypothetical considering the whole planet was covered in snow, crocodiles could still survive. So yeah. It seems that millions of years of gradual evolution of specific adaptions not only allowed crocodilians to survive, but thrive. Even though, sure, crocodilians lost a few species considering the harsh events that occurred, they're still existing today, showing how successful of a predator they are, surviving 200 million years and still adapting and evolving. Thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and if you have any other topics you want me to cover, then just drop a comment below. I'll see you all next time. Bye.